Hi everyone, I welcome you all to the YouTube channel. So in the previous video, we created one project called as IT Building Construction with the uh, project code as ITC under the EPS of construction with the EPS code of CONS as you can see on the screen. So moving ahead in this particular video, we will be creating something called as work breakdown structure. So which is called as WBS. So we'll go to the presentation. And we'll see what kind of WBS we'll be creating. What is WBS? Then we'll be implementing it in the Primavera P6 software. See, a project is very complex, very dynamic, and specifically large projects are more dynamic and they have a huge set of activities uh, under them. Okay. Like if you see this project of IT building construction, it will have hundreds of activities. But since we can't solve a problem with hundreds of hundreds of activity for a YouTube video. So that is why I have uh, not taken that many activities. I'll be taking very less number of activities. So WBS, what WBS does is WBS helps us in grouping certain set of activities into one package. Like, for example, if you see civil works is one WBS, basically one package of IT building construction, which will be uh, categorizing all the activities related to civil works like RCC, then shuttering, form work and all. Similarly, finishing is yet another kind of package or work breakdown under IT building construction project, which will help us to categorize all the finishing activities, okay, like plastering, painting and all. Similarly, MEP works is yet another kind of work package inside IT building construction project that will help us in categorizing the activities related to mechanical, electrical, and plumbing like HVAC and all. Okay. So packages are nothing but they are the, uh, what to say, they are some small components of the projects. You can jot them as the components of the project that help us in uh, categorizing the activities and distributing the activities in some simpler forms. So this is all about WBS. Now see, inside civil works, you can have again certain packages if you want. If your project is too complex, you can go with maybe under this first to second floor, maybe third to fifth floor, sixth to eleventh floor. You can have certain packages inside these packages also. But for now, we'll be keeping our WBS as this simple WBS and we'll be creating this WBS in the Primavera. Another thing is we have to assign three construction managers with these particular packages. Like civil works will be handled by Mr. Mohan, finishing works will be handled by Mr. Suraj and uh, MEB works will be handled by Mr. Manish who will be reporting to Sunil Sharma and Sunil Sharma is the project manager who is reporting to Mr. R. Balaji. I hope the things are clear now. Okay, so we will move to Primavera P6 and we'll execute this now. Okay. So this is what our screen looks like. We have already created a project and the activities are zero because we have yet not created any WBS. We have yet not created any activities. So first of all, what is the very first step is that you have to open this particular project. How to open this project? Either you can click control plus O from your keyboard. Otherwise you can go to the directory tab and you can see this open. Open button is there in the directory tab. If you click on this, then it will ask you which project you want to open since we have only one project. So we will click on open. So now the project is opened and you can see there are no activities inside this project. After you have opened the project, it will open the activities tab alongside. Now what you have to do is you have to create the WBS. So to create WBS, there are two options. Either you can go to the directory tab and you can choose this WBS option with two squares in blue color. Otherwise, what you can do is you can go to this project option in the tools bar and you can go to this WBS. Both the options are completely valid and almost equal. Okay. Now your WBS tab is open and it is showing you ITC project. The, this is the main uh, WBS. No, it is the topmost part of the WBS. So inside this only you have to create the packages. So this is one main package that has already been created. You need to add other packages which are your civil finishes. As you can see in the presentation, civil works, finishing and MEP works. Okay. So you will click on this add button in this particular uh, commands, uh, commands bar three times, two and three. But you can see it is creating levels. We don't want any levels. We want each of these packages to be in equal 
level under the IT building construction. So you will, we will use these arrows. Okay. So we have used this arrow twice. Similarly, for this particular package, we will use this arrow once. If you want to move them up or down, you can use these arrows in the command bar. Okay. So the very first package is your civil works. So you can give any particular ID to this. So let us let us give it as ITC one only. We, we need not change this because it doesn't matter much. The second one is finishing package. Package and WBS is nothing. They are the same thing only. And the third is MEP works. So as you see, we have successfully created our WBS, but it is in table format. If you want to see this particular WBS in the chart format, then you can go to the tools bar and you can create on this chart view. So once you cl uh, click on this chart view, it will show you the chart view. If you want to go back to the table view, you can click on this table option in the tools bar again. If you want to see the Gantt chart, then you can also open the Gantt chart alongside. But since there are no activities right now, so it will not show you any kind of uh, bars inside the Gantt. Okay, I hope this is clear. So we will go back to the chart view and we will also see some modifications in the chart. So you need to click on this layout. You can change the colors and font from here, like back color if you want, maybe let's say you want it sky blue, you can click on OK. If you want the box color to be changed to pink, we can click on this. And if you want to change the font and all, you can change the font also. But let us keep it same as of now and we'll click on OK. So now you see the uh, what to say colors and styles have changed for this WBS. Also, if you want to change the alignment, suppose if you want these children packages of IT building construction to be aligned vertically, right now they are horizontal. So click on this particular box, go to layout WBS and you can go arrange children vertical. So now they are arranged vertically, but you cannot see them properly. So you need to zoom them, zoom to best fit, go back again, zoom, zoom to best fit. Now they are properly zoomed. Similarly, if you want to align them and all, you can change the alignment also. Okay. Now they are right aligned. These things are similar to what we did during the OBS and during the EPS making. So I think all these things are similar. If you want to collapse them, then you can collapse also. See if you collapse, then all the packages will get collapsed under this. If you click on plus, then only it will be visible to you. So this is how to create the work breakdown structure, we will again go back to the table view. So this is the table view. You can see again, if you want, suppose to add one package inside civil works, then you can click on this add button and inside this ITC, there will be a package that will be added, but we don't want, so we can delete it from this. If you want to copy this, then you can copy and you can paste also. So it will ask you what all things you want to paste. So you will click OK and it will paste one more package in the same fashion. Okay, you need to click on this plus to see that particular package, but it has pasted that package inside it. So if you want in the same level, you can use these arrows, but we need not produce these packages. So we will delete these. Okay, so this is the simple work breakdown structure or maybe the simplest one that we have created so far. Then you can customize these columns also, as I told in the previous video for projects, you can go to uh, columns and you can go to customize and you can add any type of column that you want here, maybe actual duration, total float if you want, you can add it and you can change the position also. You can click on OK. So it will add the respective column that you want. Now moving to the detailed view. So if you see for every package, you have some options in the detailed view, like general option. Who is the WBS? What is the WBS code? What is the WBS name? Who is the responsible manager? I told we need to assign three responsible managers. So for that, we need to change the OBS. So for that, under Sunil Sharma, we need to add three people. So these three people will be reporting to Sunil Sharma. Okay. So now you see these three people are reporting to Sunil Sharma. One is Mr. Mohan. Another is uh, Mr. Suraj. And third one is Mr. Manish. 
so now these three people have been created who are reporting to sunil sharma and they are construction managers so we will close this window so civil works has to be assigned to mr mohan so we will choose mr mohan from here similarly finishing work has to be assigned to mr suraj we will choose suraj from here and mep works has to be assigned to mr manish and we will choose mr manish from here so our objective has been done now but you see other options also like codes and all are there associated with every wbs you can change the codes you can change the status of the wbs suppose certain package got completed or let's say suppose certain package has been stopped due to some clearance issues then you can choose inactive from here okay and so on so, and similarly suppose some package is yet to start so you can choose the anticipated start anticipated finish dates you can add notes related to any package suppose for civil works you have some notes to add for finishing you have something to add or maybe some objectives of the project some notes you want to add you can add them budget for all these three packages you can add individually maybe for civil works if you want to add the budget that this much budget is allocated to civil works this much is allocated to finishing this much is allocated to mep and if certain changes are there in the budget you can or you can operate these changes in the budget log tab of the detailed view similarly spending plan what are your monthly plans for these uh, packages suppose starting in the starting of the project you only have civil works going on so during the starting you will have zero spending plan for finishing then towards the end you will have zero spending plan for civil works because mep and finishing will go on towards the end of the project okay so budget summary you can mention these are all the same tabs that we saw in the uh, previous video so wbs milestones this is something new if you have some milestones stones what happens is usually uh, in certain kind of lump sum projects you know the, uh, the projects which are lump sum projects and milestone projects for every work package you have certain milestones like for civil works you you can have a milestone like let's say you, we will add one milestone so the milestone can be completion of second floor slab so this is one milestone that is under the civil work similarly for finishing work you can have a milestone which is uh, let's say completion of brick work for building one let's say this is one milestone so you can have certain milestones and you can click on this completed if this milestone gets complete you can choose the weight of the milestone suppose you have two three milestones then you can choose which milestone is more significant so you can increase the weight of that particular milestone okay so this will be helpful to just uh, like take a uh, monitor the project that how the package is performing and this will be helpful during the earned value calculations also similarly you can add the wps and documents suppose for a certain package like suppose let's say during the foundation work there was some rainfall there you know, there was some uh, severe rainfall during the construction of foundation so you you have to raise some claims to the client so you can add those documents also in this particular package similarly for mep work suppose there is some variation item you can add add those documents here okay so earned value this is something that we'll learn towards the end of the video series because this needs proper attention so i'll i'm leaving this for now so this is all about the uh, creation of work breakdown structure in primavera p6 i hope things are clear to you and they will get further clear when we will move to the creation of activities and we'll get into the depth of this so right now this is all about the work breakdown structure so i hope it got clear to you and stay tuned for the next video thank you everyone